this is the way how surveillance equipment works. It's identical to any harp equipment and if you're interested in finding out how it does you can check the link in the description of this video and read the article. Today we don't want to talk about scalar waves or microwaves and how they are used for your surveillance. We want to talk about these gadgets here in front of me that can be used to prove that you're under surveillance and also some of them can prove from which direction geographically your surveillance is taking place. So we have a regular digital camera, a cheap one or a good one, doesn't matter, a midwave radio also called AM receiver. You can get these for five dollars on eBay. We have an Android phone and an iPhone and a heat sensitive camera. You could also call it an infrared camera for the iPhone. So first thing we want to use to detect surveillance or to prove surveillance is a digital camera and we're gonna watch a short video. As you have heard in the video, there was always a strange noise, a zip noise, a hum noise, a crackle noise in the tone of the digital camera when I came close to it. The reason for that are the electromagnetic waves that I'm uh, surveillanced with. These waves are picked up by the digital camera and as you saw in the video whenever I moved away from the camera the noise was gone so this is a very primitive way to prove that you're under surveillance but you might want to know from which direction your surveillance is taking place Normally you're in a room and surrounded by four walls and a ceiling and a bottom floor under your apartment. So I will show you now how you can use a midwave radio with antenna that is available for five dollars on eBay to locate this surveillance equipment. <coughs> to detect uh, surveillance equipment with a normal midwave radio you do the following just turn the radio on and put it during the daytime uh, where there are no stations available to the end of the scale so you hear just hum and crackle noises like this Now point the antenna around in your apartment and from the direction where the noise goes there must be surveillance equipment. i show you an example. So this is the place where the surveillance equipment must be seated at.
So in this case, the surveillance equipment acts like a midwave station, uh, which is received by the radio. So let's use our mobile phones to detect electromagnetic radiation. Uh, for Android phone, there's a very nice app which is called EMF Sensor Free. As we can see here, we have a very moderate reading at the moment, 156 milligauss. That's what this phone is detecting in airplane mode, which you should always turn on when you measure, so the phone can't interfere with the measuring. So, uh, when I now take the phone and scan around, you see that the reading raises. In this direction we have about 330 and when I point to the ceiling we get about 480. So this means that up here in the ceiling in the apartment above me there are surveillance devices stored. So as you can see you can use the Android phone perfectly to detect that you're under surveillance. In case you have a reading of 300 to 400 milligauss wherever you are. Congratulations, you are under surveillance. So let's check the iPhone. The app I'm using here is called uh, Tesla Meter 11th. You'll find a link to the app in the description of the video. Uh, as you can see it shows about 400 milligauss wherever I point the thing. So unfortunately the iPhone cannot be used in a way the Android phone can be used. So the iPhone just will give you some kind of evidence that there's a lot of electromagnetic uh, waves around you, but it's nearly impossible to check out the direction where those rays are coming from. So let's come to the next gadget, which is a FLIR digital camera for the iPhone. You just take the iPhone and plug it into the device and here we go. Here you have a heat sensitive camera for very little money. So to check out how this works, how you can find surveillance equipment in your apartment, let's check the next video. So I made this video in my bathroom and I checked the wash basin and as you can see in the video the Bosch basin shows some strange lights. These are coming from the sink under the wash basin and as you see the heat over there although I never use this wash basin in the bathroom is about 25 degrees while the walls beside the basin only have about 16 or 17 degrees Celsius, as you can see here. So the difference is caused by a surveillance device that is incorporated into the sink of the wash basin. This is a very common place for surveillance devices that camouflage perfectly with the surroundings of your housing. So as you can see you can use a uh, FLIR 1 heat sensitive camera for the iPhone perfectly to find these devices in your 
housing, but not enough of good features of the FLIR1 heat-sensitive camera. It can also show you the direction in which surveillance equipment is placed, as we will see in the following video. So as you can see, I'm scanning around in my apartment and uh, for example, there's my old laptop. There's a transformer beside that, a light bulb. And when I now move the camera in the direction of the wall, I get some kind of pinkish fog into the picture. Watch that. There's a pinkish fog in the picture. And this fog is caused by surveillance cameras, by surveillance equipment. Again, I go back to the PC, to the laptop, and it stays on the floor like 21, 6 degrees. And here you have 21, 8 degrees, but this pinkish shine, this pinkish fog, in the picture which is caused by electromagnetic waves that are coming from the surveillance equipment. As you can see here, if I point to the kitchen, no pinkish fog, but again on the same wall a pinkish fog.